Welcome to another painting tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the Dark Vengeance Chaos Cultists. So these are the ones with the ranged weapons. I painted these guys up pretty quick, and uh, as you can see, some pretty simple color tones here. Uh, basically, some brown wrapping, some flesh tones, some blue sort of cloth, and some grayish cloth, and then a little bit more color on the uh, sergeant. So here's the basic colors. So this is the uh, the flesh tones here for these guys, so it's not the typical f flesh for regular guys. It's more of the, well, these are the uh, kind of the beast flesh tones. Um, for the silver, I use lead belcher with a bit of a wash and noolin oil, and then iron breaker for some highlights. A couple of little red bits, I use some corn red, and I gave it a wash of Agrax Earthshade along with everything else. Some of the leather was Mornfang brown, highlighted with Scrag brown. Uh, with a earthshade wash in the middle, the gray on the cloaks was done with uh, mechanics uh, standard gray and uh, Newland oil wash, and then the the blue parts of the clothing were Cantor blue with the uh, Newland oil, and then I rehighlighted. So the the clothing bits I rehighlighted after the Newland oil. I did it with the uh, the gray there and the blue, so it ends up with a nice dirty sort of a look, not a lot of highlights, and paints up very fast. So here's all the base colors. So you can see what I did with the guys that are duplicates is um, they got blue on one part and then gray on the other part of their clothing. They had a black uh, spray paint undercoat and so I kind of kept most of those colors and then just uh, touched that up with a wash. There's the um, the leather bits there and they'll get the, uh, the Agrax Earthshade and uh, the silver bits as well. And so this painted up pretty quick, got those uh, colors on there, and then uh, gave everything a wash. So there's after the wash. And I'm not going to have many pictures here. Um, so you can see the, the black wash on all those clothing bits, some browns here and there, and then the, uh, the uh, flesh wash. And very shortly I'm going to be showing you the finished product. So after the wash is dried, I just uh, did a quick highlight on the, the clothing, a little bit of a dry brush on the metal to get some sharp edges, uh, quick painting, uh, some edge highlighting on the leather wraps, and uh, that was about it. And we're all done. Um, for the bases, I did the same thing as all the others. So that's the textured uh, deep brown with a terminus uh, dry brush, terminus stone dry brush, which is kind of an off-white and then some of the um, the tufts from GW and then this is a Steel Legion uh, brown there for the ribs. So we'll look at these guys a little bit closer. Uh, so the sergeant, again you can see a um, bit, bit of a sort of scar details on there. I just treated them like scars and so painted them lighter around the edges. And this guy I painted him a bit differently, so this is the gray, and then I went back with a bit of the the pure black and kind of painted it in some of these uh, these cloak bits here, just to make it look a bit more like a black leather cloak. And the heavy stubber, um, yeah, not a lot of uh, special details on this guy. And then, uh, so each one of these guys, so the, the duplicate ones I did, uh, I, I alternated. So these, this here's blue on his shirt and gray on the top bit, and I just switched that around for the other guy. So any of these guys, and you'll see that at the end, I'll show you side by side. So it doesn't add a lot of variation within the squad, but uh, I think enough for these guys. These are just uh, so your basic, basic troops and you want to get these painted on the tabletop as soon as possible. So um, really after the wash was done, a little, some very quick highlighting and, uh, and then the bases and it was all done. So you can see uh, gray up there and blue there. I added a bit of silver on these things here just so that they would stand out a bit more. And yeah, alternate gray, blue, blue, gray. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out my blog and check out my other videos on YouTube. There will be a link to the blog in the description below. And uh, make sure you like and share this video so that I make lots more. See you next time.